welcome back here in this new video tutorial in microsoft excel today we are going to learn how to use the pivot table in excel pivot table is one of the very important tool in microsoft excel which is used for summarizing the data and uh, to make reports from the big amount of data here i have a data of sales of a company where there is data invoice customer name product name quantity sold sales value sales representative name and a sales manager name is given from this data i have to create the reports like the customer wise total sales product wise total sales sales representative wise total sales so this can be done by using the pivot table so to create pivot table report in excel first of all you have to click inside your data you can click anywhere then go to insert tab and here you have a option of pivot table so click on this then click on from table range option now it will open this pivot table dialog box and here you, you and here you have two options one is whether you want to create the report in the new worksheet or you want to create the report in the existing worksheet if you want the report in the same sheet then you have to choose this existing worksheet option then here in the location you have to choose the starting point of the report here you need to give the link of the sale by clicking here if you want the report here then click on the sale or you can also choose the new worksheet option here i am taking the existing worksheet option then click on ok now here you see the pivot table fields is created and here in this section the report will be generated and here suppose that if you want the customer wise total sales value then you have to drag the customer name here in the row field and drag the sales value here in the values field this way and here you see the customer wise total sales report is generated if you want to change this report if you want the product wise total sales value then simply deselect the customer name then select the product name from here you can select or you can also drag it to the row field this way and here you see this is the report on product wise total sales if you want the customer wise quantity sold report then simply deselect the product and sales value then choose the customer name click on the quantity sold and this is the report of customer wise total quantity sold if you want to create a report on customer wise product wise total value sold then you can deselect the quantity choose the sales value then drag the product name here in the column label now you have a report on customer wise product wise total sales value similarly if you want to add a filter here then you can choose the filter parameter suppose if you want this report to be filtered based on sales representative you can drag the sales representative to filter label here now you have a option to filter the report from sales representative if you want to see the report of sales representative suras then click on this click ok now here you have a report of the sales representative suraj if you want to see the whole report then simply click here and choose the all option click ok if you want to remove this filter simply deselect the sales representative from here then it will be removed so report can be generated in different ways like if you want here the sales representative wise total sales value then you can simply select sales representative click on the sales value and this is the report for you so pivot table here is able to summarize the data quickly we can generate different kind of reports here and here in the value option if you go here in the drop down you have a option that is value field setting if you click on this then here you have different calculation option if you want the count then you can choose the count if you want to see the average sales then you can choose the average option similarly here you have multiple calculation options you can choose any from here 
and if you want to filter your fiber table report then you have a option to insert the slicer suppose that here i am going to create a report on customer wise sales value and if i want to filter this report based on the sales representative and sales manager then i can close this pivot table field so that i will have a larger space here then click on the pivot table then click on insert slicer option that is in the pivot table analyze tab click on insert slicer and here you can choose the filter parameter here i am going to filter this report based on sales representative and sales manager so select these two then click on ok and here you see the slicer is created you can adjust the position of it by clicking and dragging here this way you can decrease the size of the slicer from here also drag this sales representative slicer and put it over here then decrease the size from this now you can filter this report from these sales manager and sales representative if you want to see the report of the sales manager z1 then you can click on this now here you see this is the report for the sales manager z1 if you want to clear the filter simply click here then the whole report will be given similarly if you want the report on different sales representative you can click on the sales representative name and the report will be given according to the sales representative you have clicked here if you want the report on multiple sales representative then you can click one then hold the control key in the keyboard press and hold then select other here you see when you click on different sales representative the selected are given by a different color and to clear out the filter simply click on this button so in this way we can filter the reports given by pivot table by using the slicer and here if you click on the pivot table report if you go to the pivot table analyze here you have multiple options to edit or customize the report suppose that if you want to remove the grand total from here here you have an option to remove this click on the report then go to pivot table analyze tab go to the options then here go to total and filter then deselect this so grand total for row and column option then click ok and the grand total will be removed from here so here you have a multiple option to edit or customize your report so this is the use of pivot table in microsoft excel if you want to download the practice workbook file you can go below in the video description and download thank you very much for watching this video we will again meet on next video tutorial